Hello EA group members This is GC from headquarters and today I'm making a video about a question that I received from a member that uh, his problem was that he has his artwork but he doesn't know how to get it ready for the web and he doesn't know where to send this work to sell so first thing I'm going to go to the page for my fundraiser which is uh, under files and let's see here I have to come here and delete some stuff that uh, has not been approved to be here let's see where it is okay how to sell your art online free and here's the list of all the sites where you can go and sell the art now you have to get the art photographed and resized for all these sites uh, if you go to the GoFundMe page it's right all the links are here and there is a link gofundme.com forward slash ia group and you have here resources and the online shops so I'm looking at eBay right now because I was doing some research yesterday and I was gonna open a store at this site Etsy but uh, I registered and the first thing they want is my credit card and that can't be good um, at least um, okay they have a fee of 20 cents per listing um, maybe until it sells or four months uh, I read uh, but they actually have uh, three fees involved with the sale transaction uh, of whatever you sell so uh, it pretty much uh, takes me back to other sites that have fees uh, is understandable websites like that are expensive and you have to charge fees to make money to pay <laughs> the employees right so um, now the question was from this artist I have all this stuff but I don't have money I have some computer knowledge obviously he has a computer and he doesn't know how to get the artwork ready for the web now um, you can take a picture right uh, but we're gonna cover prints and originals if you're selling originals then uh, you can just post the original but uh, with this website you're gonna have to pay for listings uh, 20 cents uh, right off the bat when you list the item now um, when you list multiple items it's gonna add up and uh, here at eBay um, I have a shop with them I I don't work too much with the shop I actually I had it closed up for like several years but uh, I'm going to go over it again and, and start working on it now they are giving me 50 listings completely free no insertion fee nothing uh, you post your items uh, and they're free to post if the item sells then they charge you the fee and the closing fee now uh, with that you're gonna have to have a PayPal account you're gonna have to have a PayPal account and the PayPal account 
it's no uh, big deal on how to use it it's a uh, no-brainer at all PayPal have uh, made some changes to the side as you can see uh, to keep it uh, more safe never reply to an email from PayPal uh, if you have an issue with a customer always go to your PayPal and log in at the site and see if there is a problem if there is a problem then that means that the email it's uh, coming from eBay and is legit um, I or if the email comes from an, a stranger uh, an email that you don't recognize don't click on any links they might try to steal your username and password anyways uh, as a seller you have to know a little bit about um, this um, email spoof emails and what spoof emails are uh, spoof emails are uh, made to defraud people so um, if you uh, don't know what that is uh, spoof emails uh, you can do some research on that I have a video on how to spot a fake uh, PayPal email uh, now um, the reason why some people get affected uh, is because um, they don't follow the rules on how to use the system now if you are new to eBay and you have your artwork and you're gonna put it up there obviously you haven't made any sales so you don't have nothing to worry about it's not like somebody is gonna uh, you know try to get into your PayPal and if they do there is nothing in there the account is new it's empty and what you do is once you sell something get the money out right away transfer it to your bank account a uh, request a check whatever uh, just take the money out don't leave it there piling up like you're gonna use it as a savings forget about that and uh, that way you are completely safe so um, now let's talk a little bit about uh, le let me go just really quickly go back to the group here and uh, the group the link uh, it's up here if you go to Facebook and search international artist group you maybe you're coming from uh, YouTube uh, LinkedIn Twitter just search international artist group you will find the page this is what it looks like and you will go to how to be uh, to to this tab here files and then how to build um, how to sell your art online free there you will have a link and and you'll have a list and this is a list of all the sites that you can use um, but uh, I'm making this video for a new uh, playlist which is gonna go over the eBay we're gonna create an account and we're gonna prepare the artwork we're gonna edit the artwork for the right sizes for the boxes and what the, the stuff that displays on the on the pages and uh, we also gonna look at shipping and we're gonna look at different products so I'm gonna switch now to my other camera and I have to stop this video so uh, I'll do that Okay, yeah, group members, I'm back. It has been a very busy morning today. And I'm going to go over a few products. We have frame products that you can easily fit on an envelope. A pattern envelope is a bigger type of envelope. It's not this kind, um, but you, you get the picture, right? Uh, it goes in it, padded, bubble wrap or something, envelopes, and then you have bigger envelopes for something thicker. Uh, these frames come with the uh, corners to protect the edges. Uh, you don't want any damage on the frame to avoid uh, returns. And it has glass. Did I mention that it has glass uh, or some type of acrylic? 
Uh, this is also another type of frame, it's smaller. I've been thinking in doing like a miniature collection or something, something uh, that it's more affordable for people with the lower income brackets. Uh, you also have canvas uh, or fine art paper. Uh, don't print on poster paper because that stuff gets kind of wrinkled, it's very thin. Um, if you're gonna do limited editions, use a fine art, thick paper, uh, or use the photo luster paper, which is a, a paper for a professional, um, it's, it's like a film quality uh, paper, it's called a photo luster paper, uh, the ink doesn't fade, and uh, and it's waterproof and um, and the colors are brighter uh, it's not like like printing and it's also printed with a high um, quality printer with a nine color process it's not like your home printer like I mean you can if you want to like you know <laughs> just get a printer like an Epson printer for home and a lot of people do this to print their pictures, you know, and they've been doing this for years. And they, they print with their home printer. But if you're doing fine art, I don't recommend that. Uh, I recommend that you go to a printer, a fine art printer, and for them to do the prints for you. Now, if, if you can afford to have a small stock of, of the artwork prints, that would be great. If you not gonna, if you cannot afford it, you can tell the printer that uh, that you will let him know when you have one, and and you print and you sell the stuff on demand. You can do that. I do it on demand, but I have my own equipment. I don't have to, you know, uh, uh, start printing a bunch of stuff because I always get different jobs, and the ink for this. Uh, high quality prints is quite pricey you can spend easily a thousand dollars in ink <laughs> I mean with a little printer I mean I used to think oh my god I have to spend a hundred dollars in ink to fill the damn uh, color ink and the black ink and the printer and then and then this one is a thousand dollars so so people are making a killing in ink with ink maybe I should start selling ink instead right and um, so um, I wanted to show you some uh, sizes here. This is something bigger, okay? And this is an oil painting and it's on wood. Now, I have some artists that have tried to ship something like that and it's gonna cost you around, uh, and this was from Costa Rica to Miami, Florida, and that was going to cost 500, between 500 to $650, which is, it, too much uh, for shipping because it's not really that far. I mean, it's just a, an hour or two or something. Anyways, um, if you tell the client it's gonna cost the shipping six hundred dollars, they're, they're gonna freak out because uh, some people freak out when I try to sell a mug and I tell them that the shipping for the mug is more expensive because it's a mug. It weighs more than paper, and you have to add a box, a big box with a bubble wrap so it's protected right uh, you don't want the mug to get there in pieces <laughs> so um so the shipping uh, keep in mind that this store that we're making on ebay is gonna it's gonna give you 50 items so i suggest you take you take those 50 items get your 50 paintings if you can and and get your best 50 paintings if you can paint a hundred paintings, pick the, the best 50 and put those on, on eBay. It won't cost you a dime like the other website. And uh, you can start right there. Uh, if you sell something, they'll, they'll charge you the, the, the insertion fee. No big deal, but at least you'll have a sale. And then that will go to your PayPal account. It will have to clear because it's a new account. And once you get the money in the PayPal account, take it out. Take all the money out. Never leave money there. And uh, you will be fine if you follow those steps. Um, and I'm going to switch to the other camera. 
Okay, yeah, group members, I am back and let me see what the, our next step is going to be. Um, okay, um, some artists don't know how to photograph the originals to make um, uh, prints uh, so they can sell and um, that's uh, I'm gonna make something about that to help them out um, also um, that's gonna be the the first thing I think I'll do before we resize the stuff on Photoshop um, you're gonna need Photoshop for this tutorial um, if you can get it let me here go to the photo uh, to the the link is Adobe um, Creative Cloud I believe I'm in Asia so it's gonna give me Adobe.com but uh, let me say create let me try up here creative created Adobe let me see let me see if this works I want to send you to the wrong site and I'm gonna click here United States um, and anyways um, you can go to adobe.com and um, you want to look for Photoshop uh, if you can get it uh, let's search here Photoshop uh, I, I haven't um, I don't know how much it costs right now. I know there is a Photoshop Lite or something going around. I have Photoshop CC, but I'm trying to look for prices here. You might have to call. Okay, Adobe Photoshop single app. It says here 1999. Maybe it went up in price. Uh here you have Photoshop and Lightroom or something they have like a package it says $9.99 so you can get it uh, maybe with the you should get this package of Photoshop with Lightroom Lightroom is a program that um, to fix the light of of the pictures now I'm not gonna get into Lightroom but uh, this is a better deal for you for $9.99 uh, it's well worth it uh, that program is $9.99 a month it's not just a one-time thing um, if you have an older version from before from the past that is still working that's good maybe you can look for something but uh, I don't know it's if it's gonna work uh, you will have to create an account and you will have to use your credit card for this one and um, so the next step will be to get some artwork uh, photographs so I'll see you guys later I'm gonna upload this video and um, I'm gonna upload the videos in parts uh, because every time I make a video uh, just so you guys know uh, I made some changes to the to the input of the volume uh, volume to to make it more clear I had to fix something with the time because the videos were getting recorded in the wrong at the wrong speed or something I'm not new making videos I mean videos is not my thing um, I'm not that kind of, <laughs> of a person that would shoot video all the time and uh, but uh, people started asking me why don't you make videos why don't you make videos uh, so I started making the videos and some videos have been getting a lot of hits but uh, some of them I'm gonna have to remake because the sound and the speed is kind of strange and uh, it's not very clear now they're all on on um, high definition 720 uh, um, HD 720 uh, it's not full HD but uh, if you are watching this video and you go to the YouTube channel and I'm gonna give you here my YouTube channel at youtube.com Giuliano Cavallo now if you are clicking on a video uh, I want you to I'm gonna lower here the volume here I want you to uh, to click here on settings and 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 always um, 
you can you can change the quality to to 720 uh, I, sometimes I bring the quality down that's that's the quality that the video was recorded now um, it doesn't have any subtitles and the speech should be in normal now if you have it at 720 you should be able to read everything on it okay like the links they should be able to be readable everything all the text and um, I'm just showing you this in case you didn't know about the settings for the videos because a lot of people don't and uh, you can change this setting if you want to a lower setting so it can load quicker but uh, the problem is that it gets blurry and then if you wanna if you uh, re uh, if you have full size to try to read something you won't be able to read anything but you might need a faster internet connection if your connection is not very fast you might have to go maybe try 480 so uh, if you're okay with your connection just leave it on 720 and that's all uh, for this part of this video I'm gonna switch to my other screen thank you okay so we went over some products and we're gonna use eBay to create the, the store we're gonna create the store we're gonna create the images and we're gonna upload the images and we're gonna go over all the settings uh, everything that you have to have the shipping information and uh, uh, the policy return policy if, if you want one but don't worry I'll, I'll guide you through that and um, and we're gonna get the images ready I suggest that now you go and uh, get that Photoshop um, from somebody or borrow somebody's computer maybe or maybe what you can do if you don't have it and you don't have the money to to use to buy it uh, maybe you can go to a university uh, in the States uh, many universities have a lab and, and these labs have Photoshop so uh, you can use that if you don't have that you can try to get GIMP uh, and that's what it's called GIMP uh, now uh, GIMP um, it doesn't have uh, formats for files like TIFF or GIF or JPEG I mean they do they have the formats but it's kind of tricky to to uh, you have to convert it um, to a JPEG uh, now if that's not the problem because uh, it, it would work for eBay if you are putting a picture online it has to be a JPEG anyways so you can use the program called GIMP which is open source it should work on your Mac it should work on your PC and uh, you can research for other options but what we're gonna do is we're gonna resize pictures and we're gonna change DPI uh, dots per square inch and we're gonna have different resolution for prints if you're gonna make prints if you're gonna sell originals you really don't need it but you do need it to get the pictures ready for the internet um, Another option you could use is maybe take the picture with a, with, a, with a phone, with a smartphone, and there is an app called, if you have an iPhone, uh, I don't know if it works on the other phones, uh, but you can try, it's called a Snap Seed. Just like I said, a Snap Seed. It's all together. It's a uh, snap seed is that leaf, that green leaf over there. That snap seed. So it's a green leaf and that might allow you to resize these pictures. But uh, you will need a computer still to get the picture to eBay. You can't be doing the stuff from a phone. I mean, a phone helps, but uh, it's not a computer, you know, it's not a PC or a Mac. So with that, I'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.